Feel how cool it is. is, is, is. Sorry. Dining room. You could put our whole entire house in here. Man, I can see why they put a brick wall around this place. Where did these people get so much money? Well, I did a little research last night. My dad and I stopped by the library on the way home from French class. The money came from pharmaceuticals. Pharmaceuticals? What's that? Drugs. Medicine. See, a certain Dr. Winston, a few generations back, discovered some miracle cure for an egging disease. Egging? Horses. Basically, Dr. Winston developed these really great horse pills. And that's how the family fortune was built. He went a little nuts, though, in the end. At least it says in the local newspaper. Did strange things, like trying to bury all the family silver into the gazebo in the city park. Putting barbed wire on top of the wall. Come on. Just like a hotel. Servants' quarters. Shh! Listen! <laughs> mice in the walls. I love the mice! So, are we at the top? Let's look for the attic. Here it is. Well, shall we? We could hold hands, you know, just for fun. We could whistle. Or it could just be really quiet until you check things out. It'd be wonderful for a club. It's so clean. No cobwebs, no bad. Why isn't it hot? My grandma's attic is about 200 degrees in the summertime. It must be the thick stone walls and the tiled roof. This house is built sort of like a castle. It would be a great place for a clubhouse. Nobody thought would find out our secrets here. And we could spread our silly stuff out. Rather than having it crammed into the carriage house. Anna Maria could help us make it beautiful and cozy in no time. You know how she can do that. A striped rug here, a patch of paint there. There was the Carson's place to the south, looking surprisingly small from up here. There was Summery Lane, hidden by trees except for the spire of the Methodist Church. Lily had never felt so private. Nobody in the world except her two friends, had any idea where she was. But we're still trespassers. So? Who cares? I mean, nobody else is using it, and we're not going to hurt anything.
but what would our parents say? We don't tell them. How do we get all our stuff up here without anybody noticing? Sneak it up at night? Oh. But Lily could tell by the looks on the girls' faces that they knew it would be harder than it sounded. It would take incredibly good planning. Maybe they could tell everybody's parents that they were having a slam slumber party at Elizabeth's, and then Elizabeth's family that they were having a slumber party at Lily's. Something like that. The old slumber party trick. But how would we actually move all our stuff? It would look like an army of ants running up and down Summery Lane in the moonlight. Somebody would probably notice. And we've got so much stuff. Think of hauling it down the road and up into this attic. I'd die of exhaustion. Lily wanted to stomp her feet and yell, or pitch a hissy, as Elizabeth would say. How could something so perfect be so impossible? <sighs> as president of Silly Stuff Club, she had to take charge. The attic is great, but unfortunately, it will never work. Don't be so sure. Ah! 